everyone, welcome back. We're about to watch episode seven of Bochi the Rock. Last episode kind of put a nice little cap on that. I don't know if there's any other things to be tackling before this show, so I'm not really too sure what this episode's gonna be dealing with. We're just gonna go ahead and jump on in. Uh, guys, feel free to check out my YouTube memberships. Uh, you get early access to episodes like these and full reactions too. So we're just gonna go ahead and jump on into this. ごとさんの家、あと少しで着くみたいです。やった。ていうか、道案内ありがとうね。いえいえ、楽しみ。あ、そうだ、ごとさんの家ってどんな感じなんでしょうね。<笑><笑> おばあちゃんの登下。今の<笑><笑> Oh my god, what? <laughs> oh, that's really cute though. Such a wholesome welcome to our home. Oh, and some of you uh, were able to help me find the uh, OST for this. And uh, I've decided to not listen to it until I finish the show because I want to hear the songs for the first time through the show. I'm that way with movies too. I usually don't listen to the soundtrack until I, I watch the movie. <laughs> wonder why she has to get up. <laughs> oh, she did up her room to make it cool. <laughs> oh, her sister is going to spill all the beans. Oh, no. There's room for you. Yeah, if, if you have too many people in the room, sometimes it just, it's just hard to jive with so many different people. <laughs> I get that way too. Like if um if I'm talking to one person, like I'm like really talkative because it's just one person I can deal with. You add two people, I would have to be like really comfortable with both people on the same level for me to be as talkative. But if, but if I don't really know one of them as well as the other, like, I just, I shut off for whatever reason. Oh, she, she must have had some stuff happen in her past. I wonder what happened. I got something to say about that. I'll I'll wait till after the episode. Uh, anime food. It's, it always looks so good. <laughs> wow, our parents really did not believe her. 
お部屋の飾り付けの練習だとか言って飾り付けては片付け飾り付けては片付けを繰り返してて You don't have to tell her friends all this stuff ツイスターのイメージトレーニングだっけお,お母さんお父さんそ,そういうことペラペラ喋らないで<笑> Yeah, that's what I just said 自分の家に友達がいるのってなんだか不思議だな So, I guess to be fair, she might present herself one way to her parents and maybe another way to her friends. I know that doesn't completely fit 100% in, in this situation because she's probably the same to both her friends and her family. But maybe, she, maybe Bochi just isn't telling her parents exactly what she's up to with her friends. See, in like this kind of situation, I probably wouldn't be talking a whole lot. <laughs> Just food? It's not even t shirt related. Is it gonna be amazing? Maybe, maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> no, Bochi. I'm curious too, actually. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> What's happening? Was that a trigger? How it doesn't really like give you any hints on whether or not this is happening in Bochi's head, other than understanding that the characters wouldn't say this normally. <laughs> Although everyone's being a pessimist. Sometimes simple is just the best way to go. It could have been a black t-shirt or a white t-shirt. That would have been the only other ideas I would have uh, added to that. Especially in band situations, it's always good to try ideas before you shut them down. Like, unless it's just a unanimous thing that an idea is bad. If one person makes a suggestion and it even has any remote possibility of being a decent idea, at least try the idea out. It really helps that person's psyche to to be heard. And it looks like that typhoon's coming. <laughs> yeah, it's it's something that I've had to learn, and it wasn't even me being on the receiving end on that. I've treated bandmates like that before, and it wasn't the right move where they would come up with an idea for something and I just kind of shrugged it off. Like it's always, well, maybe actually it did happen to me later. Maybe that's how I learned my lesson. It's just always good to make your bandmates feel like they've been heard when they make suggestions. So that would be my two cents on that. The one thing I was gonna comment on that had some correlation with that sports thing, cause she, she said that even if you are participating if you are sitting in the back somewhere, everybody feels like you're not being with the team, you're not doing anything. And I think that can also transfer into other social situations. It could be like workplace situations, relationships with friends, things like that. Because like I think in our heads we think, oh, we're we're not making any problems because we're just, we're here, we're doing what we're supposed to do, and then we go away. That's kind of it. And and we we end up thinking that no one can have a problem with us 
as long as we just do what we're supposed to do and then go away. And that's not really the case at all. That's not at all how the world works because other people that are any level of empath or at least they're able to read body language if they see that in you because they're, they're used to people that actually give interaction. And so if someone doesn't give them the interaction, they might think something is wrong. And then plus you're probably not communicating that to those people that are extroverts or more extroverted. And everyone around you might think that you don't like them and that you have a problem with everybody when in fact that's not the case at all. You're probably not even thinking about that. You're just trying to show up, do your part and go home. And that's simply what your task is. So this could be something that perhaps extroverts listening to this can also learn from is we're probably not thinking about you at all um, and not in a bad way. It's just, we're dealing with our own stuff. It's got nothing to do with you. We're just trying to get through the day. So yeah, I, I do relate to what Bochi's going through with the whole sports thing, even though we haven't quite gotten the whole story with that yet. She at least said enough right there to trigger that in me and go, oh, yep, I've learned that lesson. I learned it the hard way. Another great episode. Love this show. I don't even feel like any of these episodes are filler. To me, they're not filler because they're all things I want to know. This is an interesting show in that it can take what could be filler from other shows and it becomes the main focal point in this show. It's, it's very slice of life. I feel like I wouldn't even mind like fillery type episodes from a show like this. I wouldn't mind at all. I want to stay with these characters, you know, for as long as we can. So great episode and I hope you enjoy the reaction, but that is it for me and I will see you next time. <laughs>